First day when he gives his speech at the party, I know all of us were kind of eager to be the audience and just to spectate and just watch him perform. And it was really exciting because it was really good and really intimidating. And I was tangled in strings. Spader knew what he was in for and he went for it regardless because he thought, if I'm going to do it, let me really do it. It was terrible to put us on a set together. I just want <laughs> everyone to know that now. Showed up at, at the studio and they put me in a suit and they had me go through a range of motion, very specific motions and movements and so on, which they captured with all these sort of sensors all over me and reference cameras all around me. And within 10 minutes, the sort of rough image of Ultron was on a screen, a monitor in front of me. I've outgrown you, Tony, I've evolved. Performance capture is the entire performance, so you're filming an actor's entire role. It just happens to be a different bunch of cameras. But the actual nuances, all, the, all of the acting choices, you're authoring the role in exactly the same way that you would if you were playing a live action. He and I got to do some stuff, you know, and it's ridiculous. We're wearing these very unflattering suits and um, I'm trying to explain to him you know how it all works but I was like I'm working with James Boehner look at you Ruffalo you really like pulled one over on the world